the goal of our of what we do is to obviously to treat the patient with the prescribed medication. The catheters we take care of for patients at home are, are a variety of catheters. Uh, some are pick lines, which are peripherally inserted central catheters. Some are implanted lines uh, for venous access. If you had a catheter that was occluded or and treated, there's a greater chance that patient gets an infection. When I was reviewing our drug expenditure list, I noticed that Taplil Ultiplase was one of the drugs that was showing up on our on our uh, cost report, and that that was a little concerning to me because um, most drugs we dispense are used to treat disease states. What we were treating with the Ultiplase was uh, clots that had formed inside the catheters. Um, if there's blood reflux back into the catheter, you can get a sheet fibrin sheet formation, which then causes the sticking, which can ultimately develop a clot in the catheter, which would not permit it to be uh, utilized appropriately. We were using a neutral pressure connector where we did change to an anti-reflux uh, connector. And that was the pretty much the sole change that we utilized. The reason why I decided on the anti-reflux connector is because I understood the science behind it. I had seen uh, a demonstration of disconnecting from a neutral connector and there was blood refluxing back into the catheter. That always stuck with me. But I also discovered that there was reflux physiological changes such as sneezing, vomiting, bending over. The anti-reflux connector helped prevent that unintentional blood flow back into the catheter, which then helped prevent the formation of those clots that we were experiencing with. The study outcomes showed a 48% decrease in capital usage, a 27% decrease in nursing visits related to, to treatment of occluded catheters, and a 66% decrease in emergency room visits as a result of the catheter being occluded. Our savings resulted in over $124,000 over the nine months of the study. We cut down on the, on the amount of cash flow which we were utilizing and the supplies, supplies associated with that. We cut down on the expense of the nursing visits. Um, you know, the patients cut down on their co-pays expenditures or out-of-pocket expenses related to the treatment. The last a uh, study I saw, it said for a treatment of an occluded catheter in the emergency room, it's $1,400, the average cost. So, you know, those are all real healthcare dollars. I always say to my employees, if you take good care of the patients, good things happen. And this was proof of that, that we were providing quality product to them that would prohibit a occlusion from occurring, which was interrupting their therapy.